Tom Verlaine, the legendary guitarist and songwriter, has passed away at the age of 73. Tom Verlaine was the frontman of band television, one of the most influential bands in the New York punk rock scene in 1970s. He was born in New Jersey in 1949 and rose to fame with his band in the 70s, releasing their first album, Marky Moon, in 1977. Throughout his music career, Tom was highly regarded by his peers and had a significant impact on the punk rock era. Sylvia Symes, the renowned British actress best known for her roles in The Queen and Victim has passed away at the age of 89. She died peacefully on January 27th at London Care Home for those in entertainment industry as confirmed by her family in a statement to Sky News. Sims had a prolific acting career starting from 1950s. She rose to fame in her 20s and appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout her life. Some of her most notable roles include her performance in the World War II drama Ice Cold in Alex, the controversial film Victim and BFTA nominated The Tarmid Seat. Gregory Allen Howard, a prominent writer and producer in film and television industry, has passed away at the age of 70. Gregory Allen began his career in the entertainment industry as a writer for television shows such as Miami Vice and Hill Street Blue However, it was his work on the sports film Remember the Titans that brought him widespread popularity and acclaim. The film based on the true story of a high school football team in Alexandria, Virginia during the early 1970s touched audiences with its themes of unity, perseverance and determination. Billy Packer, he was a legendary college basketball broadcaster. Packer has died of kidney failure at the age of 82 after being hospitalized for three Three weeks in Charlotte, North Carolina. Packer spent 33 years as a college basketball analyst for NBC and CBS and was known for his cue style and sharp insights. He won a Sports Emmy Award in 1993 and was fixature on NCAA tournament telecast. Packer's passion for the game was unmatched and his legacy will live on as one of the greatest college basketball broadcasters of all time. Next up, we have a child star. Lance Kerwin. At the time of his death, he was 62 years old. Kerwin was known for his roles in popular TV series such as James at 15, Salem Lot, and The Loneliest Runner. He made his mark in the entertainment industry in 1970s and 80s, appearing in numerous TV shows and movies. He was also a part of the cast of Emmy-nominated horror miniseries Salem's Lot. Margie Duncan, a dancer, actress, and a close friend of Debbie Reynolds, has passed away at the age of 92. Duncan was known for standing in for Reynolds in films such as The Unsinkable Molly Brown and The Singing Nun, where she worked with choreographers to learn Reynolds' routine and would then teach them to the actress. She will be remembered as a talented dancer and a dear friend of Debbie Reynolds. Lloyd Morissette, the co-founder of Sesame Street and the Children Television Workshop, passed away at the age of 93. Morissette was a psychology teacher and experimenter who after seeing his daughter mesmerized by TV test pattern questioned if television could be used as a tool to teach children. Along with John Ganscooney, Morissette created the Children's Television Workshop and in 1969 the world-renowned educational show Sesame Street debuted. Over 50 years later, Sesame Street continues to reach tens of millions of children in over 140 countries and has won multiple awards for its impact on informal education. Morissette will always be remembered for his innovative idea to use television for the betterment of children's education. Al Brown, the veteran actor best known for his role as Cole in the hit HBO series The Wire has passed away at the age of 83 due to Alzheimer's disease. Brown's recurring role as the police colonel manager and the Blatimer police commissioner across all five seasons of the show earned him a critical acclaim and lasting legacy in the world of television. In addition to his work on The Wire, Brown has also made appearances in other crime dramas and procedurals including Law and & Order, Special Victims Unit, and Commander and & Chief. He also had similar roles in several films including 12 Monkeys and Red Dragon. So this is it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Till then, be happy and peace.